Hi there, happy Sunday. Welcome to our new word, which is virtue. And our associate exercise is reverse rotation in triangle legs. Before we get into the exercise, uh, let's talk a little bit about virtue. I've been doing a lot of soul searching about virtue and I, what I've come out with is these are qualities. Qualities that we train, we develop in ourselves to deal with the situation we're in. Could be a fabulous situation, could be a new job, could be a new baby, it could be um, a new relationship. And we realize that in order to work or to be in this new situation, we need to develop qualities in ourselves. Um, you know, I think about the birth of my daughter, Desiree, and how that certainly enhanced and helped me develop the quality of patience. Now, I don't necessarily have a lot of patience in other areas of my life still, but when it comes to Desiree, I have amazing patience. And it amazes me, I guess I should say, it amazes me that I have so much patience for her, but she just brings it out in me, which is awesome. Um, but it might not be a rosy situation. It could be, um, could be an illness, um, could be an injury, could be um, you know, a loved one going through a tough time. Uh, it could be any number of challenges. Um, so there's always a gift in those challenges, and in any situation, good or bad. We don't even have to assign it, judge it, good or bad. In fact, what's not? It just is a situation, right? The question is, what is it bringing out in me? What do you need to, in order to get over this situation or to excel in this circumstance? What are those qualities? And you'll know if you can kind of dig deep, you'll feel, you'll feel what resonates with you. And I want you to think about it this week, um, and we can practice virtue in our exercise of the week, reverse rotation. In Willpower and Grace, we get into reverse rotation through triangle legs. Before we do, I love to have a segment, Truth and Fitness, because we see this a lot. So, rotation through the torso. Maybe you want to hold the bar, maybe you want to hold a plate. If you've been following my blog, then you know I'm going to tell you that this is not at all helpful, not for your waistline at least, unless you're interested in possibly increasing the size of your waistline. Because as you twist, especially if you use weights of any sort, you could actually add a little oblique muscle here, which would, everything else constant, make your waistline bigger. Most of us, when we think about shrinking our waistline, we're talking about reducing abdominal fat. This exercise is not gonna do that. Because one, it's not burning many calories, Two, you might put on muscle, and three, you might slip a disc. I don't think we want any of those outcomes. We know we'd rather be doing something that has a bigger calorie burn, something that's not building a muscle right here where we don't want it, and something that um, isn't going to injure ourselves, because obviously if we're injured, then the only way to lose body fat then is to do it through diet, which is not necessarily bad, but you're not going to achieve the look you want. You're not going to you know, half tone because you're not going to, you're going to be losing muscle at the same time. It's not a good situation. Don't go that way. Okay. Don't slip a disc. Just never a good idea. Um, but there is value in rotation. It just isn't maybe what you think. The primary value I see in doing rotational work through the torso is flexibility. You know, think about an older person and, you know, they're walking down the street and they turn around and it's like this. Like there's no ability to rotate. We don't want to lose that. You know, flexibility is something we got to work every single day of our lives to maintain and to enhance. Um, torso rotation is, is a key um, area of rotation just for our lifestyles, for everyday activities, and um, you know, and also spine mobility. Um, in yoga terms, we think of twisting the midsection of that area as being detoxifying for the vital organs. So I think that's pretty cool too, you know, maybe helpful internally as well as externally. In Willpower and Grace, we get to this through triangle legs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the triangle kind of facing away from you so you can see the rotation. And our triangle legs, we got two straight, strong legs. So I'm engaged, I'm gripping front foot, back foot, then I rotate through here. The back hand comes down to the shin and the rotation happens. I reach 
and I squeeze. Initially, I'm just looking down at my toes, making sure that I have a good pedicure. And then I start to follow my fists with my eyes because that's automatically going to give me more rotation. So I reach, squeeze, and look, I fall off balance. So it's a balancing act because we need to ground down through our legs and then the upper body can rotate. And as soon as you follow your fists with your eyes, you might feel that getting out of balance element of it. So this exercise could be much more about balance than anything else, but it incorporates several things in one. Let's do many of our exercises in one part of this. Um, so practice it. One thing, two things, one, two, three, four, think about it. three things that are common errors in this exercise. One is we don't have straight legs or like the back heels lifting. Something's going on funky with our legs. We want those straight legs. It's going to engage the muscles. And then hand comes here. The other thing I see is like a collapsed posture. We talked about that before. So having that long spine and then like a sloppy hand like this. Does this look like willpower? No. So squeeze, rotate. Yeah, show off that bicep. Go ahead. Girls can have guns too. It's not a big deal. I mean, real men aren't intimidated by that shit. All right. Well, I don't know if I should be swearing on this. So let me cut it off here. Have a great week of virtue. Back to virtue.